class diagram case study. So, let us discuss one case study and in that particular case study we shall discuss how to draw the class diagrams and other different aspects. So, the following diagram is an example of an order system of an application and it describes the particular aspect of the entire application. So, what are the features we are going to implement? So, first of all order and customer are identified as the two elements of the system. So, one is order and order will be invoked by the customer. They have one to many relationship because a customer can invoke or can produce multiple orders. Relationship because a customer can have multiple orders. Order class is an abstract class and it has got two concrete classes that is the inheritance relationship generalization we are having here and one is special order and another one is the normal order. So, abstract class means directly we cannot define any object under that very class and here we are having two concrete classes that means they are not getting inherited further and these two classes concrete classes will have the names that is the special order and the normal order. The two inherited classes have all the properties as the order class which is the base class and in addition they have additional functions like dispatch and receive. So, these two are the additional methods which will be found under this special order and the normal order classes. So, let us go for the respective class diagram of this case study. The following class diagram has been drawn considering all the points we have mentioned in the earlier slide. So, here we are having the customer and here we are having one class known as the order class and this is the customer class which is having name of the type of string, we are having the location of the type of string and this particular customer class is having two attributes that is a name and locations and two methods. One is a send order and the one is a receive order. And here you see one customer can produce multiple orders. So, here we are having the cardinality ratio. So, one to many. So, arrow has been directed from many to one in that case. So, this is our super class also known as the base class. So, in this particular super class we are having two attributes that is a that is a date of the type of date and then number of the type of string. So, there is the order number and there is the order date. And here we are having two functions, two methods are there, one is the confirm and another one is the close. So, this is the abstract class. This confirm and close the respective bodies might not be defined in this respective class because it is an abstract class. So, now what is happening from this particular order we are inheriting this special order and this one is the normal order where these two methods that is the confirm and closed these two methods so confirm and confirm and close they have got defined here and this normal order is having another two extra method. So, one method is our dispatch and another method is our receive. So, along with the two inherited methods or implemented methods here they were unimplemented. So, now they have got implemented the required code will be written under this respective methods and two extra methods will be there one will be the dispatch another one what will be the receive and here we are having the one additional method that is the dispatch. So, these two classes are nothing but the sub classes or inherited classes or derived classes in this particular class diagram. So, looking at this particular class diagram looking at all the notations and representations a coder a developer can produce their own code as usual. Always remember whenever you are doing some class diagram for a real life like applications in that case these classes can be categorized in two different heads. One will be the transient class and another one will be the persistent class. In case of persistent class what will happen we shall have our respective schema on our database against those persistent classes and in that case what will be the attributes in those uh, schemas. So, the attributes which will be mentioned in the respective classes will be the respective attributes in those schemas. So, against the transient class no table will be formed, no schema will be formed onto the database, but against the persistent class the database will have the respective tables, the respective schemas and those schemas will have the attributes which will be 
which will remain defined in the respective class form where it has been derived. And here also we are mentioning the data types and accordingly the data types will be will be inherited in those attributes which will be there in the respective schemas. So, in this way the class diagram we have discussed in a case study that is the order management system. Thanks for watching this video.